Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I know I've been MIA, but I'm back. And I'm back with a new hair color. Um, I'm a blonde now. Um, I'm probably going to make a separate video telling you guys how I achieve this hair color. And I'm also planning on going lighter, so I might make a tutorial on that as well. But for today, I'm just going to show you guys how I achieve this hairstyle. This hairstyle is super easy. Um, also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me and subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. My channel just hit 70,000 views and I'm so happy and like I'm so thankful. Um, I can't wait to reach 100,000 views. That's my goal for the end of the summer. Um, and yeah, I'll be posting a lot more videos now that I have my computer back. I haven't um, had my computer for the past couple months, which is why I've been MIA, but I'm back and I plan to be posting a lot more. Um, and yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to get right into this video, so keep watching. Alright, for starters, I'm going to tell you guys briefly what I use in my hair in the shower. So, I use Jera Co-Wash Cleanser. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, this is what I use to wash my hair. And then I also add um, Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition um, for dry damaged hair. And I use this because my hair is bleached and I want my hair to stay moisturized. So this just adds a lot more moisture into my hair after I um, use the cleansing um, conditioner. Even though, even when I use this by itself, my hair is really defined. So it's I feel like this is more like a condition con like a deep conditioner kind of thing but it also cleans your hair at the same time then I use my dendron brush to detangle my hair in the shower I only detangle my hair when it's wet and that's all that I do in the shower and then my hair looks like this when I come out um so basically, the reason why I do this hairstyle is because I'm lazy, and this is this has been my like go-to um, wash and go hairstyle because it's really quick and it's really simple. Um, so you're going to need three things. You're going to need a string or something to tie your hair with. You're going to need some gel. I have two gels. I'm going to try this one today because this is my first time trying the coconut oil one. And I want to see how that works with my hair. So I'm going to try this for the sake of the video. Um, and then you're also going to need a toothbrush to do your baby hairs with. And a brush. A handy dandy brush. So. I'm probably going to be looking downwards. But that's because my mirror is here. And whatnot. So. Now. Um, I'm going to show you guys how freaking easy this hairstyle is. So first things first is get some gel. Ooh, this smells good. It looks like shimmery a little bit. You guys can't probably can't even tell, but whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna add this all literally all over my hair. That's what I do. I literally just add. I don't add gel to my um actual hair because I like my hair to be fluffy and whatnot. Um, and my hair. It's pretty defined. So, also, I like to leave the, um, like, two little curls out. Because I feel like it makes it look a little bit more girly. Or, like, I don't know. Whatever. I just think it looks cuter that way. So, that's why I leave it out. And then I just put gel in the back of my hair as well. I put gel everywhere. A lot of gel. I don't know if you guys can see how much gel I'm using but um yeah you might want to ha keep a um what you call it a spray bottle on you if your hair dries out quickly like mine does and then I brush it but I don't brush it like to put it in I mean like I brush it in the direction that I'm going to be tying my hair up but I don't brush it and like pull my hair together because I don't want it to be like that you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about in a second I'm trying to like brush this without putting my little curl in 
sometimes I leave curls out in the back. It depends. Sometimes when I'm trying to be like dressy and try to have like a cute updo or whatever, that's what I do. So then I'm going to take my string and I'm going to take it and put it like, you see where it's above the curl a little bit? This hairstyle literally takes me like five minutes to do. Probably shorter than that. Um, and then I just keep pulling. Wait. I mainly want the back to be pulled. I don't pull the, the top front that um, tight or whatever. But then you do this and then I make I usually tilt my hair my head forward so that when I'm tying it to the back the um my hair is not getting caught or whatever so then I take my take this string and I tie it into a knot in the back and then I like I just tuck the string right here and then I'm going to tuck the other side. Well. Yeah. And voila. Beetle.